What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be walking you through this look step by step. This is a very warm and cozy look. It's nothing crazy out of the box, nothing revolutionary. I just wanted to sit down and hang out, do my makeup and do a warm and cozy look. Thanksgiving's coming up so I will probably be doing something just like this because it just gives me the warm fuzzies, warm cozy vibes. It reminds me of just like sitting at the couch with a fire and a cup of coffee or a cup of hot chocolate and that's kind of just like the vibe. So I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and let's get started. For foundation today, I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I have the shade five neutral. It gives a very full coverage. I do have on a self tan that I just put on and it's just marinating on my skin. So I haven't self tanned since I think my wedding in July. So I needed some warmth. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a pump of that. This is very full coverage. It's been a minute. Ooh, that's a little light. It should be fine. I'm gonna add in a little bit of a darker concealer just to bring in a little bit more darkness just because that is gonna be a little bit too light. But yeah, it's been so long since I've self tanned and my skin is just so fair right now. It's been a minute since I've seen some sun. So I needed to do a little bit of self tanning today. Bring that down the neck. Okay, I think that color ended up working out once I got it blended out. It is a little bit more yellow than I would prefer, but I think it'll work out once everything is all on and together. For concealer, I've got the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. I've got 2W and 3.5N. I think these two mixed together are gonna work really nicely. Um, I'm mainly gonna use 2W and then just dot the darker one in. That's actually what I used on my face to deepen this up. So I'm gonna take the 2W and do that and then take the darker one and just dot it in there and then blend that in. Oh, that's such a beautiful formula, especially against the foundation because the foundation is so matte and full coverage and this is, it's got like a little bit more of a dewy finish. So it just looks really nice and healthy underneath the eyes. I haven't worn makeup in like a week. Just kind of had like a down week. I don't know, just kind of feeling blah. I haven't been eating the healthiest, so I know that that's making me feel blah. So yeah, I just took it easy this week and I starting to get dark earlier, so I'm trying to up my vitamin D. <laughs> But yeah, just kind of was in a funk all week. So this is the first time doing my makeup. You know, even just doing your makeup makes you feel a little bit better. So I want to do some cream contouring. It has been a hot minute since I've used this. I can't even remember the last time I used this, but this is the Bobbi Brown foundation stick and I have it in the color Almond. This is just a regular foundation, but I'm going to go in with a deeper shade so that I can contour my face with it. I want to use that Smith one, the 157. I've been liking this for contour. So let's use this one instead. And this, I wanna use this because I know this has a more red undertone. So because I had on the self tan, I wasn't sure like how it was gonna look. So yeah, this will give a, a warmer look. Oh, and I just got these new earrings from Miranda Fry. I'll link them down below. It's like this, it's just a regular loop earring, but it's got this chain and I think it's so cool. It came out in her fall collection. I have a discount for it. It's Brianna Fox for 10% off that is affiliated, just so you know. But I've just been loving these because I just love simple pieces. So those are a new like everyday piece that I've been wearing and every time it catches my eye, I get excited because I think they're so cute. It is really cold in my house right now. It's like not that cold outside, but we've actually had just like the fan running. I run so hot, so it has to be pretty cold in the house at all times. But last night we slept with the windows open and the fan running and we both woke up very comfortable, but it was 57 degrees in the house and we haven't turned the heat on yet. We've just kept it off. And so it's slowly warming just on its own, but I think it's only like 59 now, but I'm very comfortable, but I can tell it's cold because of this it's just very not creamy and if it was like a normal temperature in the house it would be a lot creamier so it's just a little trickier to blend i felt that with the foundation too so what are your thanksgiving plans let me know down below I'm excited that's my favorite holiday i love thanksgiving i love it because i get christmas vibes and i feel like it's a part of this whole like christmas holiday season but christmas itself the day it's not my favorite because then it's all over and I don't like the whole idea of presents. I love the idea of just like spending time together and I feel like with Thanksgiving, there's no pressure. And even if your family decides not to do the presents and stuff like that, I feel like that's still like a thing. Like it's still like, 
that's what Christmas has become for a lot of us. I just love spending time with the family. So yeah, Thanksgiving is my favorite. It's all about the food and just the coziness and it kind of just kicks off the whole season. So it is my favorite. But yeah, I think I'm gonna start taking down the decorations. I have a hallway full of laundry that's just like oh, impossible. Maybe me and Ruben can tackle it together. But yeah, I gotta do that. But I wanna get started on the decorations just so I can kind of just spend the next two weeks doing it and enjoy the process. So it's not like I wanna like rush and get it up. But I can't do the tree until after next weekend because all of the tree farms don't open yet. Black Friday is also one of my favorite days. We are not people that go out and go shopping. Uh-uh. I like that as kind of just like a cozy day. And I know work-wise that should be a very busy day for me. I get really in my head on that day because I see so many people posting things and I, I always feel the pressure to post, but I always just spend the day watching Christmas movies and relaxing. It's like a couch day for Ruben and I. We love just like chilling and relaxing and it's a day off. So I think maybe it's because of retail. I worked retail for so long and that day, like you just never had off. You always had to work. So now I know that like I should probably post stuff. I'd probably do well on that day. I just, I'd rather relax, you know, unless I've got stuff like pre-planned and stuff. But I know some people like that day is just a busy day for them and they're just constantly posting all day, which that's great. Like, I think that's awesome for them. For me, I'm just trying to be cozy. <laughs> I am just using my Laura Mercier powder. I'm just gonna set right here, all my oily areas. I might actually, I think I'm gonna just set my whole face with this. I did not use primer. I'm gonna get really oily. And then Ruben and I are gonna film a podcast episode today. I'm gonna try to do two episodes. I had you guys ask me questions on Instagram. They're all relationship questions. I'm not one to like give relationship advice because everybody's relationship is so different. But every question is like advice for this, advice for that. And I'm like, you know, I don't know how to answer those questions. Maybe he will. But yeah, I'd like to do multiple episodes just because I wanna have a couple batched so that all I have to do is edit them and post them. Okay, I'm gonna grab the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette. I'm gonna use this shade just for a little bit of contouring and then I'll use this side for highlighting. Grab this brush and just hit it right in there. I think next week I'm gonna start filming some Christmas holiday makeup tutorials. I've got a few in my mind for the season, so let me know what you'd like to see. I'm seeing your navy requests. I need to do a navy look. So that's one of the ones that's on my list to do. I always love doing just a nice classic one every year and then maybe a colorful one. So let me know what you'd like to see. I don't think I'll be posting every single day. It's just a lot. I think I'm gonna do at least three a week. You know, we'll see. I'm gonna try to actually pre-film them so that I have more time in December just with family. And then I also will have that time. So if I wanna post more, then I can. And then I'm gonna grab the highlighter here on the cheekbones, on the nose. And then for blush, I don't know what color this is. I'll have to find it and I'll link it down below, but it's from MAC and it's this like coppery dark peachy brown with like a gold speckle in it. I keep grabbing towards this. I really need to label these in here so that I know what I'm using, but it's just really, really beautiful. So I'm just gonna pop that on the cheeks, this beautiful color. Also gonna bring it on the forehead, nose, neck, everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna go into the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I believe this is in neutral brown. And I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. Start on the bottom. And lately I've been trying to do them from far away. I've got my mirror like right underneath the camera. And I'm, if I do it from over here, then I don't go in as harsh. I've just started to pull up my mirror to do it close by. And I forgot that this is kind of what I've been doing lately because it kind of helps so that I don't overfill them in and then they don't go on like too dark and pigmented. So now that I've got like the majority of the brows done. I think they look really good, especially from doing them from far away. I'm gonna look up a little closer just to make sure like the details look good. Just deepen up the tails a little bit. I'm just using a little bit of brow gel here. Fluff up the brows. I'm gonna go into the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. I feel like I haven't used this in a while and I'm gonna prime my eyes. Although because it's so cold in my house, this is probably gonna be really stiff and hard to put on my eyes. Oh, okay. It's not so bad. Sometimes this can dry out pretty quickly, especially if it's 
really, really cold in here. I don't know exactly what I wanna do with my eyeshadow today. I just want something warm and cozy. It's probably gonna be similar to other looks that I do, but that's fine. I just want some some coziness today and kind of wanted to give a little bit of a Thanksgiving inspiration and like warm winter inspiration. I feel like I always gravitate towards the same looks in general, but also around this time of year. I like to stick with the classics. I don't like to venture out. In summer and fall, I tend to venture out more with my makeup looks, but winter and spring, I keep it pretty much the same. And let me set that with a little bit of powder. So part of my Sephora order did come in, only three things. So two of the things were the Melt Perfectionist lip pencils. I didn't show this in my recommendations video and I was kind of like a last minute impulse add on to the cart. So I kind of wanted to go in with this color because this is the color cinnamon. I know this is lips and I'm about to do eyes, but I kind of wanted to see what this was gonna look like before I did the eyes. Cause I'm thinking I want to do more of a warmer lip. We'll see. We shall see. I think I'm gonna grab my Man Eater palette from Tarte. This is one of my favorite palettes. I mainly want to use Purr and Saucy to just blow this out a little bit and do a nice little smoky-ish look. So let's try that. I'm first gonna grab Purr, which is this shade, and just bring this on the eye. Do the outer corner, bring it into the crease. This must have had a little bit of something else on it too. It's going on really pigmented. So I'm just keeping it low. And then once the majority of the product is off of it, then I'll start blending out those outer edges so it's not so harsh. Bringing this towards the nose contour. Now that it's pretty cleaned off, I'm gonna go on the edge and start blending it upwards and outwards. I'm gonna use that same color and go underneath the eye. Go all the way from the outer to the inner and I'm looking straight up into my brain. I'm barely even looking at what I'm doing and it just blends out. I've gotten some comments recently about doing like more blown out looks, about how it can kind of look tired or someone said something about it going into their blush. That's the goal. I love when it comes down really far. I think the key is just to complete the look with like some nice solid mascara or lashes or whatever. And then make sure your under eye in this area is, is nice and concealed because if it's not and you have like pretty prominent eye bag, it can kind of go in with the eye bag and then look like you're tired. And then just make sure the edges are nice and blown out. You can use a shade that's similar to your skin tone to blend it out so that it poofs out and you don't have like a harsh edge underneath. Now I'm gonna go into one of my favorite shades in the world. This is the color Saucy. It's such a beautiful color. So I'm just gonna pick this up on the brush and I'm gonna lay it right here and push it on the outer lid. And I'm gonna start there before going into the crease with this and just kind of push it into the eye look. Just realized I just did a look just like this. I feel like in my head I was thinking it's been so long and now I'm like, oh my God, I just did this with the Jaclyn Hill palette. Cause I was thinking I wanna go in more bronzy. I'm playing around today, I don't care. Bringing this up and then underneath as well. So I wasn't planning on this, but this color, I don't even think I've ever used it before. Unless I've only used it like once or twice. I think I'm gonna go into Hypnotic, which I was not expecting, but just kind of feeling it right now. So I'm gonna pick it up on a flat brush and I'm gonna start pushing this right on the outer lid. Kind of gives a more cranberry look. It's really pretty. I'm surprised I don't use that color more. <laughs> it's in one of my favorite palettes. I just, usually I don't grab that color. I'm gonna lightly dust it towards the inner part of the lid. I'm gonna go and blend that out, mixing Pur and Saucy together. That's oh, really pretty. I think I'm gonna take that on that brush. I'm gonna look up and put this down on the bottom lash line. This is a very cinnamony look. <laughs> It's not as warmy bronze as I was planning on going, but I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna grab my Makeup by Mario Master Crystal Ref Reflector in Bronzite. I have to be very careful opening this because it's shattered. It's one of my favorite products. I'm just gonna pick it up on my finger here, kind of like a sheer little bronzy sparkle. And I'm gonna pop this on the lid. Okay, I kinda wanna do chocolate brown winged liner. I was not planning on doing this, but I just want something to be a little bit different just because this looks like everything else that I've <laughs> done in a long time, which I'm fine with, but I wanna make it a little bit different. So I think I'm gonna do a chocolate brown wing. This is the color Spliff from Melt. So I'm just gonna pick this up here on my brush. I'm 
totally not necessary. I feel like instead of the Makeup by Mario reflector and bronzite, I should have went in with this. You can probably just skip this out or pick whichever one you like better, but this kind of gives a little bit more of a rosy look to it. This is the Pillow Talk. I don't even know what this is, like a cream shadow sparkler type thing from Charlotte Tilbury. And I just kind of popped that in and I feel like it really brought this to a different place. And I really like the way that that just kind of transformed that just a touch. It kind of just brought out more of the rosy hues. Let me go over this just a little bit more, make sure this is nice and dark. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna use my face highlighter that I use on my face <laughs> and highlight the look. So pop this right here on the inner corner. I want it to be really bright, especially when I do dramatic liner. I like this to be extra, extra bright and popping. Go up here. Oh, I just feel like I need a cup of hot chocolate for this look. Okay, I kind of want to go in with just more on the bottom. So I'm gonna use that hypnotic shade and mix it with Saucy. And just really hit this right here. And let me know down below, what are your Thanksgiving traditions? I'm really curious. We always go to Ruben's parents' house and then we'll sometimes stop by my grandma's house. If you watched my podcast episode on toxic family members, you'll know why I said sometimes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Geek Mascara and really coat these lashes. I will go in with some false lashes. Feel free to skip out on that. You can also skip out on the liner. You can do that and customize any look however you want to fit your personality and what you prefer. Okay, I've got my lashes drying here, getting tacky. These are from ColourPop. I'll link them down below. And now I'm just squeezing the false lashes with my real ones, that really helps to make them look extra natural looking. Well, as natural as they can look. <laughs> and then I'm gonna apply mascara to the bottom lashes. I did go in with a nude in the waterline. I just could not decide. Still might change my mind at the end once I got the lip on, but you know. Now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna go into the Melt Cinnamon Lip Pencil. Looks like this. It looks like it's gonna be a nice warm color. So I'm gonna start on the bottom. Oh yeah. Get over here, the Cupid's bow. I'm gonna lay it on its side and start putting this all over the lip. This is a beautiful color. I love that just like on its own. Oh, that's so pretty. I kind of want to deepen up the edges just a little bit, but I really don't want to take away from the color because I think it's it's really complimenting the eyes. It's a nice deepness for my skin tone. I think if you were deeper in complexion than I am, this would be like the perfect like everyday nude. For me, it's nude, but it's also a little bit bolder. And I kind of want to just deepen up the edges with something, but the tone just like matches the eyes perfectly. It's like that deep warmness, but also has a hint of like pinky red in there. I love this. So I'm kind of scared to deepen it a little bit, but I think I'm going to like it if I do. I'm going to add just the tiniest bit of cork from MAC. I'm going to bring this right here too. Taking the cork here, it'll make my lip look bigger. This is going on exactly how I want because I'm just doing a light hand of cork. I'm not going in with too much because I don't want this to turn into like a dark brown. I like the hue of that cinnamon lip pencil. All right, you guys, this is the final look. I really love how this turned out. I'm glad that I went a little bit more rosy pink and I know that this is nothing crazy. I just kind of wanted to create something that gave you those warm, cozy vibes, perfect for this time of year, something that you could wear for Thanksgiving, something that you could wear just all season long and something that just gave you that warmth and that nice little hug. I feel like this is a nice, just a nice cozy look, almost likely wear something just like this for Thanksgiving. However, I'll probably skip out on the liner and the lashes just because I like to be a little bit more casual on Thanksgiving. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful November. Please let me know what December holiday Christmas videos you'd like to see from me down below. They can be casual videos. They can be tutorials, you know, whatever you're in the mood for. I'm going to definitely split it up and do both. But that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.